it. So first we're going to start by putting our motor bolts through and putting five washers on there. That just allows the motor to sit further back because we can align the sprocket this way on the shaft as much as we need. So we are going to put the motor wires facing down as you can see here and we're going to put it on the bracket. So we're pulling the motor out right now. We got the motor on the bracket. We got the controller out. We're about to put the controller in. As you can see, he paint matched everything to his cart here. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to plug in the throttle here. So it is the six pin plug into the three pin. So we're just gonna do the top ones here. And there we go, we're all plugged in on that. As you can see, we already got the controller in and we're about to go to the motor next. Make sure to put your chain on before you mount the motor because you will not be able to get the chain on after you get the motor in there. All right, guys, so we drilled two little holes on this one just to keep the motor wires down whenever they're coming across here. As you can see, it does a great job there. Um, and then we just feed them through the regular spot and then we just plug these right in to the corresponding colors and they're bullet plugs so they just push right in. Obviously you don't want it halfway in like that. You want it pressed all the way like this blue one. And on this one, make sure you guys plug these in all the way. Uh, they require a lot of force to press down on and I've seen a lot of people not plug those in all the way. And then as you can see, it just routes around up. And then I like to feed almost no slack and then run it around and let it pull the extra cable through. And then that'll get you the perfect amount of cable there.